Hello all you hardcores out there, how are you doing? Hope you're alright on Manma's area. Uh, got that bite in there on it today. Right, I want to talk about Billy Joe Saunders. A lot of people will have seen the explain it. The photographs of Billy Joe, he's not looking a picture of Elf, is he, at the moment, unlike me. Bit cringe like in it. But uh he's not looking a picture of Elf at all. Now, I'm hearing rumours that he's two hundred and fifty pound. Well, that's a lot that trust me. That's a lot. I know because I've carried weight around from 2000 and I don't know, 2000 and fucking hell, over 10 year I were a fat pig. So I know what it's like to carry weight around like Billy and it's not nice. It makes your heart work twice as hard, sometimes three times as hard and it's not good. Uh, do I think he'll fight again? I think eventually. I think he will. Whether it be in a ring or not, I don't know, but I think he needs to go get it out of his system. Eat himself nearly to death. Drink himself to death and whatever else he's doing. And then we'll, we'll see then, won't we, where he's at. Personally, I feel that the glasses are full with Billy Joe. Uh, when you look at his CV, you always feel, you're always left with... I don't know, I always seem to be left with... You feel like you, you've been shortchanged, you know, that it's like he's breezed through all of his fights, that's it. The Canelo one and maybe the Eubank one and the John Ryder one. Maybe John Ryder's British level, maybe Billy's a good Euro level guy. I don't know, but I always feel that there were more to come. But when they matched him, he went for the money and not legacy. He should have been fighting your Charles, people like that. And if you can get by people like that, then you go for Canelo, don't you? You can't go for Martin Murray. To Canelo, can you? No offence against Martin Murray, he will rob for he will rob for a world title against Martinez. But when Billy fought Martin Murray, let's have it right. It were uh, Martin Murray were on way on way out, wasn't he? Really, he'd been I don't know rebooted about ten times. <laughs> That's just my opinion. I'm not going to go at Martin Murray. From what I gather he's a decent kid, he's done a bit of shovel as well, so that's that's good character building for him, isn't it? But looking back, you can't go from Martin Murray to uh to Canelo, it's it's different gravy, isn't it? You no, know, it's like look it's like the difference between going to China Rose at Bawtree for a big swanky Cantonese meal or going to Duar at Balby. You know, opposite Britannia pub, going there, we've got do uh, It's all chopped up cats and dogs in it, in there. That's the difference between Billy Joe, sorry, between Martin Murray and Canelo. That's my opinion, but it is what it is, isn't it? But do I think, do I think Billy Joe Saunders has had it coming, or criticism is, is getting? Yeah, I think I think he has had it coming, hasn't he, really, because he's been a bully, hasn't he? He's been a bully. And I think karma's got him, got him, hasn't it? So he's done some horrific things, said some horrific things. He just carried on doing what he wanted, and nobody wanted to buy a ticket to see him, did they, really? And I think he's, you know, he's played the part of the bad guy, and I think if he takes a couple of years out and comes back, with a cleaner image and speaks to people properly and gets a trainer and takes it serious and goes and fights at the weight he should fight at 154. I think that uh, 
You know, it could be a force at 154 pound, or or maybe 160. But he's not a 168, and he's fought at 180, hasn't he? In fact, 180 pound in one fight. So that about a uh, fat as a pig, Michelin man. So, like I've just said there. I just feel that the glasses short changed. When I look back at Billy's career, it was his best win and best performance. Oh, David Lemieux. So that bar tailor made for him, wasn't he? David Lemieux. Did Golovkin fight David Lemieux? He made short work of him, didn't he? So that tells you that there's an elite level. Golovkin's, your Canelo's. And then there's like a British world championship level you know like Billy Joe and Glenn Catley you know Richie Woodall types you know no disrespect to them people but you know they're not your top tier are they of guys who won a world title do you know what I mean Glenn Catley he won a world title didn't he Murray Sutherland he won a world title from Scotland didn't he at super middleweight 1984 he was the first super middleweight champion but as regards super middleweight greats from the UK or the super middleweight champions, you know, Ben, Eubank, Collins, Robin Reed, Richie Woodall, Glenn Catley, Carl Frotch, Joe Calzaghe, Callum Smith, George Groves, De Gale, Billy Joe Saunders. Would you say Billy Joe Saunders is better than all that? Like, what, what level would you put him at? you put him at your Glenn Catley, Richie Woodall level, wouldn't you? Really? You won't put him up there with, you know, your Nigel Benz, your Carl Frotchers, would you? Chris Eubanks. He won't be in that league, would he? That's what I think, anyway. But Chris Eubank Jr. is a super middleweight world champion in here as well, IBO. I can't IBO. So the glass, in my opinion, is half full. So if Billy, got, if Billy came back, did a press conference and he said... I got it all wrong at Canelo fight, I had a terrible camp, uh, I weren't prepared, Martin Murray weren't a good fight for Canelo for pre in preparation for Canelo, took bad advice and the, it got out for me in the kitchen and I wanted out of there, I'd never been in that situation before, he'd never been in a firefight, Billy Joe Saunders had never been in a firefight, the first firefight we ever seen him in where he got touched up quit he quit he quit a minute after getting punched on that eye he quit that's the bottom line you heard Mark Tibbs' interview forget all this what happened afterwards he quit that's the bottom line there's no shame in that he's a lot braver than us he's in there isn't he he managed to get to the holy grail but quit he like did the Will Smith and then spoiled himself didn't he on the night he can't live with that Billy, that's why you've not heard a peek out of him. He can't get that out of his head. I can assure you now, sure as eggs are eggs, he can't get that out of his head. That's, what, that's how I look at it, because if that were me, I wouldn't be able to get it out of my head if I quit like that. We've all done things that and realised after that we've let ourselves down and Billy Joe Saunders in my opinion he just let himself down he let, he let himself down immensely I mean this is on a world stage isn't it so do you know what I mean that's how I look at it but. so do I wish Billy Joe Saunders well no I don't like him so make of that what you want. He's not my cup of tea. As a boxer, I like to watch him. Do I wish him well outside of boxing? No. No, I don't. Do I wish him well in his boxing career if he comes back? I wish everybody well until they start chatting nonsense. And when they chat nonsense and that ice breaks, I'll be underneath it. Okay? No. Right. Question here for all your members. Uh, winner gets a porky teddy. Let me just see if we've got any left. Oh, 
Oh, we've got loads. We've got loads. Right. Winner, winner gets a porky teddy. Right. Right, here's the question. Not bad, these, are they? Right, here's the question. How many world champions has Billy Joe Saunders beaten? Former, current and future. Right? How many? First person to send me the correct answer, I'll send you a porky teddy in post, alright? Got to get rid of them somehow. I've got boxes of them. <laughs> Okie dokie, so peace out, keep on chucking, keep supporting boxing, don't have nightmares and like I said, bump bump bump, thanks for joining members area and staying up members area, alright, boyaka, peace out.